this video I'm going to go over the procedure for installing FFmpeg on macOS Big Sur. So I'll put a link below to my FFmpeg playlist where you can find some different FFmpeg projects, and I'll also put a link below to the commands we're going to be typing in to install this. So I'm guessing most people watching this video have a general idea of what FFmpeg is, but if you don't, FFmpeg is command line software for manipulating video. So you can do things like scale video, you can rotate it, you can turn photos into a time-lapse video, or you can take video and turn it into the individual frames as JPEGs or PNGs. There are a lot of different things you can do with FFmpeg. You can also stream with it. So to get started, you want to go to the FFmpeg website. That's ffmpeg.org. Then you want to go to download. Scroll down till you see the Apple, click on that, then click on Static Builds for Mac OS 64-bit. So there are two different versions of FFmpeg. You have the release versions and the development versions. And you can use either one of these. The development versions will have the latest bug fixes. So you can start with the development versions and if you're having any weird issues, you can always switch to a release version. So previously you could download one file and download all of the components, but now you have to download them separately. So we have FFmpeg and that's for manipulating video. You have FFprobe and that's for taking a video file or even a graphic and it tells you information about that file. So it'll tell you the frame rate, the resolution, things like that. And then we also have FF Play, and that will play video. There's also FF Server, and that was for streaming video, and that's been deprecated. You can see the last release here was in 2018, and this is filmed in 2020. So the snapshot is this one with the long string after it, and then the one with the version number is the release version. So if you go directly under that, you'll see the different ways to download. So I'm going to click Download a Zip, and I'll do that for FFmpeg. I'll allow the download. I'll scroll down to FF Probe, and I'll download that as Zip. And I'll scroll down to FF Play and I'll download that as zip. So that shouldn't take too long to download here. So while that's downloading, I can minimize this browser here and then I'll go to the Finder and I'll go to my Downloads folder. And you can see the software being downloaded. So I'll download those as zip files. You want to unzip those. And when you unzip it, you should have FF Play, FF Probe, and FFmpeg. And this was from a previous video, so I'll just remove it. So you want to open up your terminal next. And you can type Command Space and type in Terminal. Otherwise, you can go to your Applications folder and then scroll down to Utilities, double click on it, and then scroll down to Terminal and open it up. I'll make this a little bigger here. So now we're getting into the command line. And like I said earlier, you can go to my website to find these commands so you can copy and paste them. So I'm in my home directory and I want to go to the Downloads directory. So I can type cd space tilde forward slash and then Downloads. I'll hit Enter. I can type ls here to list the files and we see the three files there. Next, I want to check if there's a directory to put these into. So I want to type ls space forward slash usr forward slash local local forward slash bin and it says no file or directory so we need to create that file so I'll clear my screen here I'm going to clear my screen off and to make this easier to read so in order to create that directory or folder you want to type in sudo which is sudo space mkdir and that means make directory space dash p and I'll get into that in a minute and space and then forward slash usr forward slash local forward slash bin so what p is doing is it's going to create each one of these directories if they don't exist so you could just add directories here all day long and it would create all of these directories. If you don't have P on there, it will just try and create the last directory, which is bin here. And if local doesn't exist, you'll get a failure. So I'll hit enter here. It's going to ask me for my password, so I'll enter that in. Now I'll press the up arrow until I see the ls command, and we see it doesn't give us an error this time. Next, I want to copy the binaries into that directory. So I'll type sudo space cp space and then ff asterisk space forward slash usr forward slash local forward slash bin. I'll hit enter. And now if we run that list command again, we'll see that the binaries are in there. So I'll clear my screen here. So the Mac system isn't going to let us run these because we downloaded them from the internet. So we need to remove them from quarantine. So to do that, we want to type in sudo space xattr space dash dr space com dot apple dot quarantine space forward slash usr forward slash local forward slash bin forward slash ff asterisk. I'll hit enter. That will remove them from quarantine. Next, I want to check my path, so I'll type in echo, space, dollar sign, path, all in caps. I'll hit enter. So this is the path, and these are the directories you can execute files in. So we see here we have usr local bin. So that means I can type ffmpeg, hit enter, and it will find that in that directory and it will run it. So we have it installed. If for some reason you don't have that in your path, so I would try running FFmpeg and see if it works on your system. If it doesn't, go to your home directory, so type cd, hit enter, and when you type cd with nothing after it, it takes you to your home directory. Next, type touch space tilde forward slash dot zshrc, then hit enter. 
Next, type open space dash e space tilde slash dot zshrc. So what open e will do is it will open this file in the text editor on the Mac. I'll hit enter here. You'll see it's opening text editor. And then in here, type path plus equals forward slash USR forward slash local forward slash bin. Hit enter. Then I'll type command S to save, command W to close. And now you need to close your terminal or you can just type in source space dot ZSHRC and that will load it. Now, if I echo my path again, you can see it added in here, USR local bin. So that was unnecessary because it was already in here, but I'm just showing this as an example. So I'm going to remove that ZSH RC from my system because it didn't exist prior. If it had other things in there, I wouldn't want to remove it. So these instructions are for using the Z shell. I'll put a link below to instructions on doing this if you're using the bash shell on your system. So at this point we have FFmpeg, FFplay, and FFprobe on our system. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. Like I said, I have the link below to my FFmpeg notes where I have a lot of different tasks on there you can use. I also have a bunch of videos that are in my FFmpeg playlist. But if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.